Live from Bethesda, Maryland, where the winters are hard and the cookies are soft, this is the Robert Dyer Channel Christmas Countdown 2021. And now, here's a man who knows it's not Christmas dinner without a side of rutabagas, Robert Dyer. Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer Channel Christmas Countdown where today I have another one of the exciting ornaments I picked up from Hallmark this year. Both of them for only $8.95. Now you saw my video of the Jaws VHS tape and if not, you can go back a few videos on the countdown here and, and you can watch that. But today I have one that I wanted last year and was not able to get. And this year it came back at a much reduced price, which I greatly appreciate for Hallmark. It's unusual for them to have a good price. And this is the Back to the Future time machine. Holy smokers. Now this is exciting both because Back to the Future is probably one of my top ten movies I would say. But I'm also very excited about the DeLorean itself. It's one of my personal top five favorite cars of all time. And when I was a kid my neighbor actually had one and so it was always outside all the time. And I've never seen, as far as I can recall, I've never seen another DeLorean in real life, so to speak, on the streets. Only maybe at a car show or something where it's a special event and they've got it there. But they're so rare, you never see them just driving around unless you're in Hollywood or something and it's certainly it's probably near number one on my collector list I eventually hope to have a whole car collection one day and the DeLorean is definitely one of those I want to have and I think the most exciting thing about the DeLorean is the timeless aspect of it which is sort of appropriate when you're dealing with a movie about time travel, but it's really one of a handful of cars that you can say are timeless. I would say the only ones that really completely qualify for this might be the Lotus Esprit and the Tesla Cybertruck, which isn't even out yet, but much like the DeLorean, they might be associated with a decade in which they were released to the public but if you look at them design wise you can't say this is a certain year of car it could be 20 years ago it could be 50 years from now they did not have design cues that say a certain decade so that's something very rare and impressive in a car design okay so let's take a closer look at the packaging here Let's see the Back to the Future logo, the Hallmark logo, and then here we have the actual DeLorean. And here it says Back to the Future Time Machine. On the sides you have the snowflakes falling. Here in the back you have the Universal logo, the Amblin Entertainment logo, the E.T. image, and you also have a back opening here. You can see the undercarriage, so to speak, rather than a realistic detail, they simply have this flat panel with the Back to the Future logo. I think the biggest thing I noticed right away, not only is this larger than I thought it was going to be, it looks so small in all the photographs. Pretty decent size, kind of like the VCR tape ornament. I didn't think it was going to be as big as it was. But the other thing is the heft of it. 
very solid. I wouldn't throw this at anybody who hurt them. It's solid as a rock. Definitely not the cheap plastic lightweight car that you might expect for this price. And I have to say there's a tremendous amount of detail on here. All the different components. Hoses. They did a very nice job getting the paint color just right. It has the right look to it. Here you can see it needs a little bit of a car wash on the right side of the hood. There's something there. I also see a slight air in the paint where they went up with the silver paint on the below the uh, windshield wiper there on the passenger side for $8.95 the paint job is really pretty good now here on the back look at that tiny license plate with a tiny print here on the sides fortunately you can't see in the windows I guess they're fogged up from the last trip around to the front here where the two problems I see here is a little paint issue on that second headlight and a slightly bigger issue is the lack of the DMC logo on the grill there in the front but it seems like they have no licenses there may be some license to use a DeLorean because it is very accurate in its appearance but they don't have the licenses to use the name or the DeLorean logo. Here is the little hook on the top and they give you this free thick ribbon to put it around the branch of the Christmas tree. You could obviously cut that off and it's, with this particular ornament it's not exactly out of place to have something there on the roof because after all you're used to having things attached to the roof of the time machine in the movies. Probably the biggest issue with this that I can see is that it does not have working wheels. You can slide it on a surface yourself but seems to me if a one dollar Hot Wheels car can have moving wheels I don't really see the explanation for why an eight dollars ninety five cents car can't have moving wheels but I guess you, know, you can't have it all I just landed at Rockwell International Airport oh Rockwell International Airport Rockwell International Airport. Great Scott. Steiner attacked. Steiner attacked. We've got to go back to the future. Marty. Marty. Marty's 255 80 pound power. Get on there. I'll say that I was excited to be able to get this even though I thought it was going to be lower quality than it is so that was a pleasant surprise would it be nice if the wheels turn yes and would it be even nicer if it had some sort of sound or light to it yes it would but I guess we've got to grade this on the basis of a non light or sound ornament and I think in that respect this is going to look great on the tree for any Back to the Future fan you could still cut this off and just set it down although I think there are better die cast uh, versions of the DeLorean and the time machine out there if you want to display it just on your desk or a shelf but you're not going to get any of those for $8.95 so this is a bargain in that respect 
a lot better quality than I expected. So I will say I'm tempted to give it five stars, but I will say that for the lack of the moving wheels and for not providing a pristine paint job, even though we can argue whether 895 should get you that or not, I'm going to rate this as a very solid, very solid, like the ornament, four stars out of five. I definitely would buy this for any standpoint, whether you're a Back to the Future fan, a Hallmark ornament fan, a DeLorean fan, I'm all of the above, and I would definitely recommend this if you can put up with a few flaws here and there. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time tomorrow on this Christmas countdown. Bye, everybody.